Hi, my name's Mark. Um, I've just recently started getting into triathlons and decided that I wanted to build a carbon fiber time trial bike. And my friends have asked me to document the process, so we're going to give it a go. Um, starting off, I've got some plans here, and I'll give you a look at those. And I'll show you some templates and the type of airfoil that we're going to use and how we're going to cut it out. So, hope you enjoy. And here we go. Okay, so here we've got the plans, and basically what I did was I, I found a bike that I liked, which was the Trek Equinox TTX, and I just kind of tried to pattern this bike after it. Now you'll notice that some of the things I've changed on it, but I tried to keep the geometry the same, and I'm trying to copy pretty much their their 54 inch frame for their the Trek Equinox. Um, down here, you'll notice we've got some, some airfoil profiles. And I decided to go with the the NACA 0020 airfoil, and I found that that had the probably the best thickness to drag ratio that I could find. So this one here is 125 millimeters. Um, we're going to be rounding the back edges here. So on the bike frame up here, you notice it's uh, about 110 millimeters. Um, for the stays, uh, I've just got the same airfoil, just uh, shortened it up a bit. So now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you how to, to make a, a template so you can cut out or hot wire your foam. Okay, so the material I'm going to be using for the template is this hardboard. You can get this at Lowe's Home Depot, just the eighth inch. And what I'll do is I'll I'll just cut out some of these little pieces or even a bigger sheet, doesn't matter. But I'll get some um, 3M Super 77 spray glue and I'll glue these two things together. And once I've glued those together, I'll take my, my profile here and I'll glue this sheet on top of these boards. And then once I've done that, I'll go ahead and cut them out on the bandsaw. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got one of those little airfoil profiles cut out on the bandsaw. My bandsaw doesn't cut real great, so you'll notice that I left a little tiny gap around the line. I don't know if you can see it real good. But then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and sand them down so that this airfoil looks real nice. Now, just so you know, spend a lot of time on this process because as your hot wire goes over this, it's going to cut out anything that's imper imperfect on this. So if you have a little divot, it'll divot in your foam uh, when you're cutting it with the hot wire. Now you'll notice I left two little two little pieces here on the end. Those are wire guides for when you're using the hot wire so that you can rest the wire on there and then start and go on your go over your profile. Um, this one here I just wanted to show you. Um, basically I just throw them together real quick uh, before I cut them out.